Howdy y'all, my name is Press, I'm coming at you with some Far Sky. This is a game that I played a long time ago, actually, on the channel, um, <clears throat> and it it blew me away. Like, I really, I love this game. I find it um, really, really fun, really, really, um, there, there's something about the environment uh, being underwater that is I find really, really cool, and I just feel like hasn't really been captured in too many other games. And sadly, the game has not been updated or changed or altered in any way since it came out. The developer has pretty much said, you know, it's done. Uh, I'm not doing anything more with it, which is a shame because I would love to see uh, more of this game. But <clears throat> for a while, I've been toying around with the idea of es essentially trying to play this on what I call, uh, you know, hardcore mode. But um, it's basically a, you can, with the sandbox mode in this game, you can adjust some of the parameters. And so what you can see here is I put predator spawn rate at high. Daytime is only two minutes long. Nighttime, a full hour long. So I'm calling this Far Sky Endless Night. And essentially what this is going to be is we're going to be trying to get to the point where we can get the submarine, which is sort of the like end goal item um, of Far Sky, um, but doing so in this really, really harsh environment because essentially bad guys, you know, predators spawn at night uh, and I have the predator spawn rate at high and nighttime is going to be basically all the time. Um, I don't know how successful I'm going to be, so uh, we're going to see how well this works out, but uh, I thought I would give it a shot anyway. So just to give you a rundown on what we're starting with, uh, I spent some of the money that you earn in the regular game in doing this. Um, I'm going to start myself with some floors and some glass walls just so when we do get a base, we can expand on it. That's not really um, any kind of advantage. Starting with some potatoes, mostly because you usually start the game with a little bit of food. Um, and when you're playing in the sandbox mode, they don't just start you with just anything. So you kind of have to keep in mind what it is that the game expects you to have. So start with a little bit of food to get us by. One extractor, which again is how the default game starts, gives you one extractor to gain resources. Um, some lamps just to light up the area, although I don't believe that the lamps work like they do in, say, um, Minecraft, where they would prevent enemies from spawning. I think they're mo mostly just decorative, but I thought it would help us kind of illuminate our base a little bit. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, and we should start also with a... Um, uh, I just call it a base in a box, uh, which is essentially just a, a base that you can drop um, and place down your first base. So we will see uh, how this goes. But uh, anyway, let's jump into it and you guys can see exactly what this game is all about. Um, and I can quickly try and find a place where we can build a base. <laughs> I need to put one close to an iron uh, spot is what I need to do. Oh, cool. And we do start with a drill as well. Okay, so here is an iron mining area. Um, there's like a shipwreck or something over there. I think this might actually be a great spot to start a base. So we're going to put it right here. Mostly because we have iron right here. So I can drop down my, if I pop out my inventory, I can drop out my extractor and get that extracting real fast. And while we're still in daytime for this first two minutes, and then it's going to be gone soon. <gasps> Dolphins! Look at how many of them there are. Um, I'm going to grab this gold. Gold is extremely useful as a resource. So uh, we want to make sure to grab all this as we can. This, this is going to be the thing that helps us to get to the next area. Um, a big portion of the... Um, kind of arc of this game is all about teching up. Essentially, you want to get better gear so that you can make your way into the deeper depths. Uh, and so that is kind of our goal at the moment. So I'm grabbing a little bit of coal so I'll be able to cook food and whatnot. I should probably grab some dirt if I could find some. Oh my god, it's already getting dark. Oh shit. <laughs> well, at least our base is nearby. I'll need to make ourselves a knife. Um, I will need to... There's all kinds of stuff we're going to have to do. So this is going to be... It's going to be intense, y'all. It's going to be intense. I uh, don't know if I'm exactly prepared for what I signed up for. Oh, I can see some treasure chests, but they're at the bottom of a little gully. I doubt I'm going to be able to get to those. All right, let's uh, head on back towards our base. We're at about 50% in the HP zone, but already it's nighttime. So uh, predators are going to start coming out of the woodworks. We need to be a little bit cautious. Let's start lighting up the ground a little bit. Let's do a little bit of this, just so we can kind of help ourselves when we make our quick little dashes out for resources. Not doing anything very um, methodical about this or anything, just kind of dropping them down as I can. Yeah, see, they don't even really light much up either. They just kind of help you find things. All right, so let's get up in our little base. Obviously, it's nothing special. All we start out with is the main workshop. So we need to build a whole bunch of different things. Equipment workshop, weapon workshop, furniture workshop, and building workshop. Uh, we're going to need a lot more iron. So let's quickly expand out our base. Um, which way do we want it to go? Let's build it over that way first. 
So here's how you build out your base. You just place down floor tiles. And as you do that, it expands in the direction that you're looking. Great, huh? Um, let's put a little bit more glass up here just so we can kind of get a better idea of what's around us when we are looking at stuff. Okay. I got a couple more, so let's, let's do that. Okay. So now we can kind of look out and see what's around. Uh, we can see a tuna up there. I don't... Oh, there's a shark. So that's something we're going to have to worry about. Let's go and see what our extractor has grabbed. Where did I put my extractor? Oh, it's on the other side. Shit, I thought it was on the front side. Uh, I am going to jump back up real quick. <laughs> Just out of fear that that... Oh, there's that shark. He's coming for me. All right, let's take all this. Let's grab a little bit more. Yep, there they are. Oh, and there's freaking uh, barracudas as well. Probably going to get hit here. Oh, get inside. Okay. Whew. Yeah, so where were those barracudas? I saw like three or four of them. All just right over here. I don't know where they went. But that's scary. <laughs> oh boy, this game. Already I'm just like getting getting the chills. Okay, so we've got 30 gold, so we can make a couple of or not gold, iron. Let's make uh, let's make the equipment workshop. Okay, and let's make the weapon workshop for sure. I definitely need to get the um I need, I need a knife. Um what else should I show you that we've got? Our, so we got our hunger is at 12%. So that's something we want to monitor. Um, and we'll eat as soon as we become hungry. All right, so each of these things allows us to build other different kinds of items. So uh, in the equipment workshop, you can see we have different helmets, suits, and oxygen cylinders, um, and then different drills. We have the regular drill. The overpower drill would be great, but that's not until far later on into the game. We're looking for the iron tier. So the iron tier, we need a total of five gold, which we've got four. So um, I may have to be, I may have to prioritize certain pieces of this, which um, the helmet is the most important because it allows you to go to deeper depths. Um, and that's probably, that'll probably be our first priority. Uh, I like the oxygen as well. And then the uh, diving suit merely um, gives you better damage reduction, damage protection. So that's what we'll worry about there. What do I need for a knife? I need eight. Okay, let's, um, our extractor is this way. So let's go and see if it's got some more for us. Cool. So yeah, the extractors will automatically uh, mine resources for you. I just got to be really careful. Looking around, seeing if there are any predators. Manta rays are fine. Yeah, we're doing okay. All right. And if we get uh, if we get the knife, we'll be able to hunt fish. Um, and so that'll be helpful. Uh, and we can cook that fish up when we make a little furnace. So that'll work out for us. So let's just keep doing this. We've got tons of iron right now. And it looks like we lucked out and that the predators have left. If we kill any fish, it's going to put blood in the water. And so then... Sharks and things are going to be coming for us, but actually, yeah, we're we're doing okay right now. We are doing okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna mine this for a little bit. Heck yeah. So um, while we're while we're just sitting here nice and peaceful, which is a shocker to me. Oh, I think this is mostly mostly done up. Um, so the main thing I love about this game is like the being underwater is a really cool environment, I think. And there just aren't a lot of games that do it. Um, you would think that it would be um, a more popular kind of locale for games. But usually when games approach underwater stuff, it's about like um, it's either like a horror game or, you know, um, or it's an extension of something already there. Um, Whereas this, the whole focus is on being underwater, which is part of what I love about it. Um, so, you know, games like Stranded Deep and whatnot, it's like they deal with a little bit with like the whole like being in the ocean, but they deal with it more from the like um, perspective of like trying to survive on the ocean, whereas like this, you're deep down in it. So love this game. Oh, and then Subnautica, I would say is a great game um, that, you know, Rick has played in the past that I think really embraces a lot of what I enjoy about this game. Um, I think they have a slightly different arc. I think Subnautica is way more like fast paced and and uh, it's kind of got a more playful feel to it, which I think is a good thing. I really think that game is fantastic. But um, Far Sky for me, I think just it, there's something about it. It just captures it really well. It was a real um, shocker for me when I played this game and realized how good it was. All right, let's build you. Let's build you. And so now we've got our other two uh, workshops. Let's put those down. I guess we'll put them down over I and mean, we don't have any more uh, floor tiles for now, so we're just gonna have to deal with this. So, what do we got here? Furniture workshop. So, plant pots we're gonna start wanting to get so that we can actually plant our own um, sustainable potatoes. Um, other than that, we're good. Oh, we're gonna want the cooker as well, so that's gonna need some copper. So, we're gonna have to find us some copper. All right. Um, that's fine. Oh, that's that's frustrating. We're gonna be eating some raw food for a while. Um, 
So let's get us, let's see what's in the furniture. No, the building workshop. So we can build another extractor, which would be great. Um, it's going to cost us a gold though. So that's something to be careful about. And then extra iron, we can turn into flooring if we want. You can build more ladders and things. The submarine, this is going to be our ultimate goal is to get the submarine. Um, and it requires, as you can see in the upper right there, it requires a special crystal. Those you can only get in the last biome and from doing a pretty difficult task. So uh, that's what makes it sort of end game. All right, we've got that. Let's put you there. You guys can combine a little bit. Uh, we can build the spear gun. Oh, it's going to cost us gold as well. Again, I don't want to waste gold if I don't have to. So let's look at the armor shop. Let's get the diving helmet. I think that's really important. Let's get the oxygen cylinder. And then from there, we'll just hold on to our last gold. We may build another extractor with it because I do find that really valuable. Um, but we'll see. All right, let's eat. Yeah, one, one cooked potato does a really good amount of um, food, so that's good. Let's chop up some of these suckers. This will give us some of the green stuff, the fertilizer that we need for um, making... Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just so serene. I think that's what I love about this, is the serenity to it. It's very calming. Even when you're afraid of being attacked by sharks and barracudas around every corner, uh, this is fine. So right now, we've actually been relatively safe, other than that first quick look. Oh, the music went away. That scares me. Other than that first quick look at the sharks and the barracudas over there, we actually have uh, been pretty fortunate. And uh, I'm going to run with it as much as I can. So we got play. Oh, there's a shark. Gotta be careful. If they get too close, you're in trouble. All right, let's head over this way. I see some treasure chests down here, and those could maybe help us out quite a bit. Oh, it's a down ship. Oh, shit! Did you see me? I don't think you saw me. Like I start whispering and shit. <laughs> I get so scared. All right, what do you got for me? Yeah, we got a plant pot, energy spheres, some iron. Okay, we'll take all that for sure. There's another chest somewhere around here. Where are you? Oh, it's on the edge. Okay, it's fine though because we do actually have the uh, extra pressure thing now. Oh, let's take all that. Oh, we got some copper out of that. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, cool. All right, what's beyond this ridge? Anything? We just want to check and see if there's any more gold anywhere. That's the big one. All right, looks like we're clear here. Got some manta rays. Manta rays are fine. I don't think I can ride on manta rays, sadly. Oh, I hear dolphins. I hear dolphins. Will y'all protect me from the sharks? Please, Mr. Dolphin, would you please come and protect me from the sharks? That'd be great, thanks. All right, there's some more, actually, um, some more chests over this way as well. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, boy. Really got to be careful. Okay. I'd really like to not get killed this early on in the game. Thanks. Oof. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. <laughs> All right. While I wait for my thing to charge up. So you see there's like that little radial thing uh, over my reticle. That is uh, how many jumps I have, essentially. How many little boosted jumps. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Shoot. I really wanted to jump down in there, but I saw that hammerhead coming. And uh, I think he wasn't very happy with me. All right. I don't know if there's anywhere, like, there's a number counting down or a clock or anything that would tell me... Um, how, um, how far into the day we are, but, um, that would be nice. Or how into, far into the evening, I guess. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, so we can, we've got our two planter pots, which is great. Let's actually make some more floor tiles so that I can get around here a little bit better. Um, just give myself a little more space. Nope, not you. You. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. All right, so we're going to need to make some chests soon as well, but that's fine. Okay, um, let us expand out. Oh, shit. Uh, this way. And so, sadly, it does get rid of your glass, which is unfortunate. Um, your windows when you expand. I think you can, if you are smart about it, you can, like, take away the glass like this. Um, but it also uh, does the thing with the floor. But let's see, where's my glass? Yeah. And we've got more glass walls, so we can always expand on it as well. So let's do this. Again, just kind of expanding out our base a little bit. Uh, so that'll give us, yeah, a little more room for stuff. So let's put down some of our pot plants. And let's put down potatoes so that we can plant them. 
So now these will slowly start to grow as potatoes. And so that's going to be our sustainable source of food. So that'll be really nice. We're going to need to get a cooker up, though, to really be able to make that into something. Let's move you away over to here. Um, and yeah, so what else do we need? Bandages would not be a bad idea to have. Let's make a bunch of those. That's kind of what the seaweed is used for. Uh, and then this um, fertilizer is for something else. Oh, we have carrot seeds. I didn't even notice those. Awesome. So one gold, some energy spheres. We got seven copper. That's right. What did we need the copper for? Not the spear gun. Not the chests. It was the cooker. Ah, we need fit. We need 15 though. Okay. Well, let's build. Hmm, do we build the spear gun? I say we build the spear gun. Out of safety, we'll build the spear gun. We have the pressure suit or the, the, the helmet. So that's really kind of what, um, what we were mostly needing. All right, we have these copper stunning spears equipped now. So we have 20 shots if we need them. Let's cut down this seaweed since it's coming through the floor. And let's think about... Um, oh, you know what? I probably should have used the uh, gold on an extractor. Hello, tuna. I hear turbulence. You, can, you usually get a quick warning when you're about to get hit. Uh, <laughs> essentially, like, you'll hear... There's some barracuda over there. Essentially, you'll hear... Oh! You will hear the rushing sound of the water as the predator is coming your way. Oh, man, I'm on such high alert right now. You have no idea. I'm like, this is intense mode. Oh, we're getting hungry. Okay. I'll eat another tater here. Hello, taters. Lead two. Okay, jumping on down. Let's see what we can find down here. Our pressure is good. Oh my god, we're going deep. We're going deep. Wow. We are deep down, but there's so much stuff here that I feel like it's worth it. What you got for me? Take all that? Yeah. Alright. Gotta be careful. There are some even worse predators down here. And there's some copper over there. Okay. Uh oh, I think I hear some, some badness. No, okay, we're good. Take all this. Okay. What's over here? It says there's another chest somewhere. Like, oh, there it is. Now getting back up is going to be tricky. I think. I uh, I may be in trouble. Did not realize how far down this went. Where's that copper? Gimme. Want to make sure that we. Nope. Not sand and fertilizer. Give me the copper. There we go. All right. We want to make sure... Uh, goodness, that we have enough copper when we uh, that when we get back, you know, that we can actually do a couple things. So I'm going to build up a little bit of it. And then we're going to have to go hunting. I think for gold will be the next step. Again, you know, so, so for those wondering, because this is probably still just the first episode, um, I doubt that this will take us too long, this game. Um, I have played Far Sky enough to where I feel like I've, you know, I can get through it pretty quickly. I added the extra difficulty of the, um, endless night mode just mostly because I wanted to kind of challenge myself. Um, so I think we'll be good though. All right, let's, uh, let's get going up the wall. So far, so good. Okay. Is there anywhere I can catch here? There we go. Okay. You always want to try and find like little crevices where you can stand so that you can recharge your jumps. You got to be careful about making too much noise because if there are predators nearby, they'll come and get you. These little red snapper guys are cute as heck. All right. Let's get up here. Come on. All right. All right. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Think we're back up? Yeah, nice. All right, we got mana rays. We got any predators? No, we lucked out with our starting location. Actually, we seem to be pretty well protected from big bads, which is awesome. Heh. Uh, what's that over there? More mana rays. Awesome. All right, let's kill some fish. Give me some food. Eh. So I gotta be careful now because I am basically chumming the waters. So some predators might start to appear. But it could be useful food. Okay. Let's put down. We got five more planters. That's awesome. 
And we have our carrot seeds. Uh, one, two, three. And we also have a couple more raw potatoes. So let's one, two. Uh, yeah, so now we should be really good on food. That's awesome. Okay, so how are we doing on... We got 55 copper and we got 75... We got over 100 iron. We are good. All right, let's build that uh, cooker. Where's the cooker? There you are. Okay, cool. You can build doors and tables and things as well. Let's build a chest if we can. Chest? Yeah. Ah, uh, large chest takes copper. Small chest takes uh, uh, just iron. Gotcha. Cool. Well, let's put the chest down. Put it over here. Uh, so let's. what do we want to put away in there? Uh, you can have sand. You can have glass. You can have energy spheres for now. Oh, we have green beans! I didn't even realize we had green beans, too. Holy crap. We got, like, all the food already. That's awesome. Fertilizer we'll put in there for now. Uh, floors and glass. Let's just go ahead and use it since we can. Uh, we'll put the seaweed in there. Um, fish for now. Now let's get the fish cooking. Uh, so where, is it? where are we going to put our... Let's put down our cooker. Put it over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some coal in there. And let's put the fish in there. Get that cooking. Um, did I just... I swear I just saw a shark out there. Um, okay. So... We got our floor. Let's um, take back some. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. I fell down. I was clicking on the wrong spot. Let's uh, expand. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, we can do it this way. It's fine. Oh, that's it, I guess. Do do do. Might as well just glass all around. We've got the resources, right? Okay, so we can see a little better. Ah, tuna coming in. Um, so, at this point, I think we're probably reaching about the end of episode one. We got a couple of, uh, we got a lot of stuff set up. I'm actually surprised we didn't have any major encounters with sharks and things. That's definitely going to change as we move uh, further into um, the game. As we start going down to deeper depths. Let's look at our armor stuff. We need gold. Gold is definitely, excuse me. <clears throat> Gold is definitely what we are looking for. I just got the hiccups all of a sudden. Uh, and so uh, that's what we're going to be hunting for on the next episode. We're going to kind of doing some exploring all around the area to try and find what we can. But um, with that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Far Sky Endless Night. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a super long series, but I thought it was something that, you know, I've been wanting to do it for a while, and I figured you guys might enjoy watching me do it. Um, if you didn't see the original series and you're curious about it, I'd say go check it out on the main channel. Uh, and... Um, with that, I have been Price. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see y'all next time.